Good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Scott Evans here. Um, thank you for joining me for today's collective worship. I hope you've got a candle in your form room um, and someone is ready to light it. But if not, there's um, some on the screen there for you. If you want to pause the video now whilst you get your candle lit in your form room, that'd be great. OK, I hope that's now lit. And let's say together in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we start this first time of worship together, we thank you for this new school year. And even though the circumstances are different to what we would like and what we would expect, we thank you that we are all in school and we're all ready to start learning again. We thank you for our friends and for our teachers and for all working in this school to make it a safe place for us to be. And we pray that we would have a good day, a good week and a good year. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Come on, we can do better than that. The Lord be with you and also with you. Thanks very much. Well, um, this is the first time we've tried collective worship in this way with you in your form rooms, um, but I hope you can follow along and enjoy this time of worship together this morning. The first thing is to uh, do the reading. Um, I'm gonna read it to you. Um, and I hope you can follow along. It's from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up onto a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it's I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the son of God. When they crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret. And when the men of that place recognised Jesus, they sent word to all the surrounding country People brought all their sick to him and begged him just to let the sick touch the edge of his cloak and all who touched it were healed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's a famous um, story that I'm sure you've heard before. Uh, the disciples in a storm. Jesus choosing to go off by himself to pray and then catching up with the disciples by walking across the sea uh, to where the disciples are on their boat. Peter then sees him and comes out to him, walking on the water. But then he starts to realise what he's doing and starts to sink and Jesus has to pull him up. They then go back into the boat. Jesus calms the storm and everyone is amazed by what they've just seen. An incredible story. The disciples were on a journey, a simple journey, across a lake. Uh, the lake's probably more like a sea, actually. It's a huge lake, the one they're talking about, and the waves can get quite significant on this lake. It's a journey. We've all started a new journey again this year, the start of a new school year. Last year's school year was disrupted and difficult. We don't know what this year exactly is going to be like, but whatever life throws at us, we can be sure, like the disciples, that we can have confidence because Jesus is with us and with him, we will do miraculous things. 
let's look at some of the different bits of the story and apply them to our own journey. Firstly, the story starts with Jesus going off on his own to pray. This year, let's all take time to pray, whether it's at home before we leave, maybe on our way to school, or during times like this. Let's take those moments to be still and to be quiet and to bring our concerns to God. You might like to do that later on in your time of worship, to stop and to wait, to listen to God and to pray for the things that are concerning you. Another thing I would encourage you to do is to keep your eyes open for people that are in trouble along the way. Jesus could see the disciples were in trouble and he walked across to help them. He helped Peter in a one-to-one -one situation and he helped the disciples as a group. Whether you need help individually for your own personal needs or whether it's for your class, your year group or for us as a school, Jesus is on our side and he will help us. It's also up to us to look around and see if we can help others. Follow Jesus's example and look out for those who might need your help. Sometimes we can be nervous about going up to someone that we can see is uh, on their own or upset. Maybe we're nervous about other things. Um, don't be afraid. God is on your side and he's with you every step of the way. The story also teaches us in miraculous ways that God and Jesus have power over everything, whether it's the, the miracle of walking on water, the miracle of calming a storm or towards the end, healing the sick. God has power over this world. He has power over nature. And if you trust him, you will be able to do remarkable things. Saint Peter walked on water in this story. As you know, Saint Peter is one of our patron saints. Um, he is the keys of Becket Keys because um, Jesus said that he would hold the kingdom, the keys of the kingdom. He would be on the gates of heaven and he would let people in. Peter is someone that we can look up to and admire. OK, we'll probably never walk on water, but we can do miraculous things. Whatever you're hoping for this year, whatever you're worried about, Jesus is with you and you will be able to do remarkable things with him. Whenever you mess up, he will save you. Peter took some bold steps and did something unusual, took a step of faith, and then he started to lose faith and started to mess it up. But Jesus wasn't cross with him, he rescued him. In the same way, we will all make mistakes this year, we will get things wrong, but forgiveness is an important value in this school. And when you make mistakes, you can reach out to your teachers, to your parents and to God himself and ask for forgiveness. And Jesus will always be there for you to help you. So with these things in mind, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we are amazed at this story of you walking on the water. We're amazed at you calming the storm. We're amazed at you healing the sick. But we remember that you promised to leave your Holy Spirit with us and that he is here with us today in school and that whatever we ask for, you will give it to us. As we sit in school at the moment, we've got lots of things that we may be concerned about or worried about or anxious as we come back. Thank you that you hear our prayers and you answer them. I'm now going to read some prayers on this screen. I'd like you to join in after I say, Lord, in your mercy, with hear our prayer. Father God in heaven, as we start this next part of our journey, we thank you that you watch over us at all times. Thank you that you are always with us to help us. All we have to do is ask. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all the new students in our school who are finding their way around and learning how we do things here. Help them to settle in quickly and to enjoy their time at Beckett Keys. Inspire us to be friendly and welcoming, especially to those who feel lost or alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Through this year, 
May we all take time to pray more often, to take time to enjoy some stillness and quiet, and through doing so, draw closer to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As I was preparing for today, um, a story came up in my mind that I've heard several times before, and I thought I would share it with you today. You may have heard about the farmer who had a mule, who was not the most intelligent of mules, and he fell down a well on the farm. The farmer decided to give up on the mule and to give up on the well, and so he called a number of his friends round from local farms and they decided to bury the mule alive. They got spades and they started shoving dirt down onto the mule. Well, you can imagine the mule was terrified the thought of being buried alive in this well. But then, as the dirt started to rain down on him, he had, in his own simple way, a cunning plan. He shook himself, he shook the dirt down, and he stood up on it. And as more dirt came down, he kept shaking it off and stepping up on it, until eventually he had raised himself up to the ground level, and he stepped out of the well. Whatever life throws at us this year, we can be a bit like this mule. Maybe some things are going to happen that are not going to be great, a bit like they happened in March when we had to close the school. But as we did last time during lockdown, I'm sure we will again shake it off, step up and carry on. Maybe this could be a, a bit of a motto for us this year. Shake it off and step up. Whatever life throws at us this year, whatever comes our way. Let's remember that Jesus is on our side, that we can pray, but also that we can help ourselves just by shaking things off and stepping up and keep going and keep going and never lose hope. Thanks for listening. It's great to be with you and I look forward to seeing you around school. Goodbye. <laughs>